Uh, but maybe uh, Naoki Tanaka has a little bit of uh, uh, salt for us to offer here, because uh, you wrote a book about the great stagnation of China. Now we are talking about the bipolar, maybe the tripolar world, but uh, what about the Chinese long-term perspective? So what is it that uh, gave uh, this uh, title to your book, The Great Stagnation of China? Uh, Mr. Okubei's opinion on Chinese economy is very in interesting, but uh, I disagree uh, him, Here we go. with him. So mm -hmm. at first, I want to pick up the potential growth rate of China. Uh, when we uh, measure the potential growth rate, labor input, capital input, and innovation side, three factors exist. As to labor population in China, it's decreasing. It's now decreasing. And as to capital input, uh, I'm not so optimistic. FDI, foreign direct investment of, from overseas to China, increased very much, but almost 60% of FDI to China came from global Chinese diaspora. So uh, a few years ago, a uh, very important rank of Communist Party uh, said the 60% uh, came from uh, overseas Chinese. However, as you know, in Hong Kong and Taiwan, uh, there are a lot of people who are against communist regime. So uh, in the case of Hong Kong, province of Canton will play a very important role. So uh, a lot of money from overseas to China through Hong Kong. So uh, it will be stopped. Uh, such kind of possibility exists. And uh, as to Taiwanese people, the same mentality is now penetrating. So uh, from southern parts of China, uh, there will be some kind of structuring problems, restructuring problems, a lot of employment may be uh, before us. So uh, as to capital input, uh, we are not uh, so optimistic about that. As to innovation side, uh, decoupling of the economy is now being observed uh, by uh, Trump administration's uh, challenges for, for uh, China. So uh, according to our forecasting, potential growth rate in China is around 2%. So uh, in the very near future, uh, China uh, will not pass that of the United States. Uh, this will have the influence upon the development course of African countries. Two aspects. One is uh, export of deflation. In China, there are a lot of uh, capabilities as to heavy chemical industries, iron, steel, cement, aluminum, and petrochemical industry, etc. Et almost half of the world capability belong to China. But the uh, demand side in China is now uh, have the problem. So, uh, and a lot of uh, these industries were done by state-owned enterprises in China. SOE is very difficult to restrict them th themselves because uh, communist regime in intervened the uh, state-owned enterprises. So restructuring process is very difficult as to the uh, excess capacity of the industries in China. That means the deflationary expect expectation on the global context. So for, uh, they want to introduce the method for industrialization. But as to the price of their products, uh, it will not increase in 
in the meantime. That's a problem. Mm -hmm. uh, second uh, uh, problem uh, uh, exists uh, as to uh, debt ridden type of countries may occur as to the involvement of China. Uh, as to Belt Road initiatives, uh, President Xi Jinping mentioned public-private partnership. Uh, so two years ago, he mentioned uh, in the annual meeting of Belt Road initiatives. So uh, Belt Road initiatives or involvement from China is not that of the Marshall Plan. Marshall Plan was done by the United States in order to rehabilitate the capabilities in Europe uh, by US money. But in the case of Chinese involvement, public-private partnership through PPP, that means involvement from uh, neighboring countries uh, will be necessary. So I'm pick, picking up one example. China, Pakistan Economic Corridor. Uh, that uh, is uh, uh, building the tramways from Indian Ocean to, uh, to China through Pamir Heights. What kind of uh, techniques, what kind of uh, infrastructure building will be done in Pamir Heights? This kind of discussion was done even in mainland China. A lot of economists said China, uh, Pakistan economic, as to China, Pakistan economic corridor, it's very difficult to build. And the debt problem, debt problem may be left for Pakistan side. So such kind of discussion were being done even in the Chun, Chunnan Hai. The, so uh, means the, uh, within the capital. So according to my understanding, uh, uh, so uh, it's very difficult to describe the future course of Chinese economy and its influence upon the world, world order. Okay. Well, thank you very much for this more skeptical view. Raises uh, two questions, I guess. What does this mean for aggregate demand, global aggregate demand, if China is slowing down uh, in that sense? And also raises maybe a question for Japan. Does this not mean that uh, if China is not uh, moving that fast, there's more space for Japan as a regional, as a regional power in, uh, in the Pacific economies? Mm -hmm.